Hi, I'm Alex Cunningham with the National Ninja League, and I am here to talk to you about the 2021 Regional Championships. Let's get right to it. We are deep into the heart of Season 6, but your continued support has been a constant in a season filled with uncertainty. In fact, we've already eclipsed last season's participation with months to spare, and NNL competitions are on pace to provide over a million dollars in revenue to our facilities at a time when many businesses around the country are struggling to keep their doors open. And although high numbers of COVID-19 cases have caused us to be even more cautious with our World Championship this year than we previously expected, there's reason to be optimistic that we'll be able to hold a large-scale World Championship in 2022, building on what we've started in the years past. So let's stay diligent and keep our community safe as we enter the home stretch of the COVID-19 pandemic. And now on to our main course, the Regional Championships. But first, we need to talk about parallel universes. I mean, points qualifiers. Main course. It's an optional course. All season, athletes have been accumulating points on a national level, so points accumulated in different regions still count to one total. Additionally, each athlete has a home region based on where they currently reside. Qualifying in each region will run up until that region's regional championship. In most regions, this will conclude the weekend before the regional championship. Once all qualifying events in a region are completed, the home region standings for that region will be locked. Once that happens, the top point getters in each division will automatically qualify for the World Championship. Athletes that qualify on points are still welcome to compete at the Regional Championships. We previously announced that the top three in points and the top three in the Regional Championships in each region would advance to the World Championships. However, because so many of you have been so eager to qualify for our World Championships, and because of the progress we've made with the COVID-19 pandemic, we've made the decision to expand World Championship qualifiers. That's right, instead of the top three in points and top three in regional championships, it will now be the top five in points and the top five in regional championships. For elites, this increases for you too, as the top four in points and the top four in regional championships will advance to the World Championship. The reason for this increase is because we've crafted several scenarios on how to hold worlds safely with varying numbers of participants. We'll explain more when we announce our 2021 World Championship dates and location, which I'm pleased to report is coming right around the corner. Like traditional NNL qualifying events, regional championships will be a one-stage course with athletes placement being determined based on who goes the farthest the fastest. The top five at each regional championship will qualify for the world championship, and if someone in the top five previously qualified either through points or another regional championship, their spot will bump down to the next available qualifier, just as it always has. Athletes can qualify for the world championship at any regional championship, even if it's not their home region. There are a few slight changes from regular qualifying events. First off, registration will cost between $80 and $100. Additionally, hosting facilities will publicly announce their COVID policies when opening registration. As always, we expect facilities to follow their local laws and policies. Regional season starts just five weeks from now with the Heartland region at Ultimate Ninja St. Louis on March 13th and 14th. Jamie Ron and his team always come up with some crazy ideas, so we're confident they will test the very strong ninjas qualify in this region. After a break for Easter, we head to the Southeast region at Motive School of Movement in Greenville, South Carolina on April 10th and 11th. This massive state-of-the-art facility will have no problem welcoming the large crowd of Southeast Ninjas. Next, we're headed to the Northeast as Gravity Forge in Eastern PA hosts an elite crop of Northeast Ninjas. Because of the massive number of ninjas that have qualified in this region, regionals will be hosted over the course of two weekends, on April 17th and 18th, and the 24th and 25th. Stay tuned for which divisions will be hosted on which weekend. After that, it's a short trip on I-70 to the Midwest, as Movement Lab Ohio and Columbus hosts on May 1st and 2nd. They've recently expanded to a new, much larger facility, and we know the M-Lab team will find a way to test the best. If that's not warm enough for you, we're headed to the West Coast, 
where Summit Ninja Warrior in Flagstaff, Arizona will welcome the best of the West on May 1st and 2nd. Summit will be hosting a few more qualifiers between now and then, and more West Coast events are coming soon. Regional season heats up the next week in the heart of Texas, as Austin Ninja's Cedar Park welcomes the South Central's best on May 8th and 9th. Austin Ninjas has had several great competitions already this season, and the regional championship will be no exception. We'll take a few bye weeks before heading to the largest region, New England. Once again held over two weekends, Windsor Ninja Academy in Connecticut will host on May 29th to 31st and June 4th to 6th. This will be a stacked field in every division and will absolutely be can't miss. And finally, it's the North Central's turn as we head to Obstacle Academy just outside of Minneapolis on May 29th and 30th. Obstacle Academy recently expanded their facility, and they'll be welcoming some of the best ninjas from Minnesota, Illinois, and surrounding areas. As for the Rocky Mountain region, we're working with our Rocky Mountain facilities to schedule more events and a regional championship, so stay tuned to our social media feeds for more information. That's all for now for regional championships, but before we go, I want to give you a quick sneak peek of our pro tournament. We've been working really hard on it for months, and we can't wait to show it to you in just a couple of weeks. We previously announced that eight men and eight women would be participating in the NNL Pro Tournament, a virtual single elimination tournament. Each athlete will be sending in a video of their best two minute grip gauntlets, and it will be up to you to decide who had the better gauntlet based on creativity, variety of obstacles, difficulty, and wow factor. The winner of your vote will advance in the tournament, but there's a lot at stake, so please remember that this isn't a popularity contest, it's who had the better grip gauntlet. Plus, for the first time in NNL history, we'll be paying the athletes for their participation, making this our first foray into professional ninja, but certainly not our last. There is so much exciting happening in 2021, and I can't wait to share it with all of you. And as always, if you have any questions on anything I've presented tonight, feel free to leave a comment or send us an email at info at nationalninja.com. Once again, I'm Alex Cunningham, and thank you for watching this NNL update.